Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Focotier uh, Entertainments. The Commvault Symphona beginner tutorial session. In this session, uh, I will be um, teaching you how to add a new administrator in Symphona Commvault. Okay, so as we know, uh, the uh, the Commvault, uh, I mean, uh, we already uh, logged on to the uh, uh, the the console console okay and uh, so here um, under the the console browser um, you have to uh, uh, browse to the uh, the security okay and uh, just uh, expand the the security and here uh, once you highlight the security you see uh, console users console user groups and main servers okay. So in order to add a new console admin, okay, for any user in your uh, customer environment or in from your domain, so you have to just select console user. So the default one will be uh, the administrator here, okay, just like this. Okay. So in order to add, you can just right click and click on new user. So it will uh, bring up a new pop up saying that what is the username, the password, and the full name, and the description, and the email address, and uh, then also uh, uh, specify, uh, you know, whether the account should be enabled or disabled. And also, you can also uh, configure the uh, the age password in number of days, okay, for security reasons. And you should be part of which group, okay? You should be part of the master uh, master available group is nothing but the uh, the super admin kind of a thing, where uh, the uh, the full administrator. Okay, so let's say so. Here, what I'll do is I will create a a test account, test user, and uh, in some generic password. And the full name is. Uh, Uh, down in the description, uh, I will get uh, for my my uh, for uh, enrollment and the email. I will give it as the user at dot com and enable password in uh, 90 days okay so uh, and uh, i'll go back here to the user groups and uh, it should be part of uh, master okay and view all is nothing but the, uh, the user can able to log on to the uh, com cell console however he cannot modify he cannot do any activity he means to say he cannot perform any task he will just have uh, only permissions to view the configuration part, the settings of uh, uh, the jobs, the uh, the computers, I mean, the client computers and the policies, the reports and everything. OK, so you cannot modify anything and you cannot, cannot create anything. Click on OK and uh, see. So the test user. OK, so um, it's created now. I'll go back and click on properties. It will show. Um, see? So in order to again uh, reset the password, you have to come here. OK, and you have to click on uh, change password. Then uh, you can uh, modify the password for the user. All right. And you can also send an email. Once you create, you can send a message saying that, uh, hey, user, your account has been created. So that's the reason why you have to configure the email. All right. So this is for the this is how you will um, you know, there's uh, add a new uh, console uh, administrator uh, for the uh, Symphona Commvault. Okay, so it's still bringing up the, um, the test user conversation. So, so it's up. So uh, I think I can type here. But I don't think it will. It will. Uh, you know, uh, 
the message will be delivered to the test user because it's just a test account, okay? So that is the latest feature we have in the Symphona 10, okay? And uh, in order to create a, a group, let's see. So under the uh, Comsel user groups, uh, we have Exchange Admin, the Master, and the View All, okay? And I want to create a new group because my customer requirement is, he said, uh, I want only um, my, um, my SQL uh, DBA, okay? to access the SQL jobs. So I need a, uh, a user group like uh, for all the SQL, uh, SQL uh, MS SQL uh, database administrators, okay? And they should be able to access only particular backup jobs, the all the uh, uh, SQL Server backup jobs, okay? So um, I'll mention as a SQL uh, database admins, See, all capabilities, I'm not selecting this. That means it will be a part of the, the, uh, the super admin or the master group, okay? And the capabilities I would like to give, see here, under the capabilities, we have various uh, tasks here, the operations, the agent management, agent scheduling, browse, download, and user access, job management, library management, sharing, upload. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to just give them a job management role because only I would like to, uh, I would like them only to manage a few jobs and the user, okay? And uh, I would like to only give to a specific uh, computers. Let's say I have my SQL Server group, so I can select that particular SQL Server group here if it's listed. Or uh, if I have a couple of servers, then I will select those specific uh, servers along with the uh, storage policies which are related to that uh, SQL server. That is how you will uh, associate the uh, the entities for those particular group. If I click on OK here, I need to uh, associate one entity here. So uh, properties, these, so I'll be selecting uh, one master server, okay. I've selected that, okay. So this is how you'll create a user groups and you will assign, uh, I mean, the permissions to that particular group and also to the user. And if I go back here, okay, now I want to create a new user and I want to associate that user to the uh, SQL DBA. So see, now the SQL DBA is listed under the availability group. So you will select this one and you will uh, add the new user, your uh, SQL uh, DBA, okay? And password and everything. So you have to uh, assign the group to that particular uh, user account, all right? So this is how you'll create a new uh, uh, console admin and also you'll create a new user groups. So uh, if you have any technical queries regarding this uh, the security, you can, um, and and, uh, and for the Comcell uh, admin uh, session, please use the comment section. So uh, stay tuned for more updates, stay tuned for more videos on uh, Commvault Symphonic tutorials. And uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.